Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matty here, my mascot. In this video we are studying about pounds and ounces. Pounds and ounces are measuring units that are used to measure weight, how heavy things are. And here I have a kitchen scales that we're going to use today. It actually measures both in ounces and pounds and also in kilograms and grams. But in this video we're just going to do ounces and pounds, okay? Okay, looking at the scale, we have this red line here. It needs lined up with zero, so it's not right at this moment. Okay, there. And now here's zero for zero pounds. LB is pounds. And then over here I have one pound mark, two, three, and then four and five. So this scale measures up to five pounds. And then each pound is divided into 16 ounces. Ounces are small units of weight. So from zero to one, it's divided into 16 increments. And these little lines are here, here. These little lines here are for ounces. Four ounces is marked with the number four. And then there's eight ounces, 12 ounces. Okay. So I think we are ready to now weigh some things. I wanted to find something that would be about one pound. And let's try this here. A box of dominoes. Yep, it is almost one pound, as you can see. It's almost a full set of dominoes. It's missing a few. How about one domino? Okay, it is not quite one ounce as you would expect. Let's put some more. Okay, this looks like two ounces. Can you see that? And this is about four ounces. Let's weigh something heavier. I have here a water container. Whoa, it goes all the way here between three and four pounds. Okay, it's right there at the 12 ounce mark. So we would say three pounds and 12 ounces. How about this book? It's not very heavy. Less than one pound. Can you read the scales? Tell me how much it is. 10 ounces. Good job. Oh, I have here a very pretty tomato. Let's weigh that one. After all, this is a kitchen scales. Okay, about four ounces, right? Actually, I have more tomatoes, so let's weigh them all. For all these tomatoes, I cannot pile them here. They will just roll off. So I'm going to use an extra container here and put it here on top. And now I need to adjust the zero line again because now it's off zero. The red line needs to be at zero. Okay, now let's try. And now we get our reading over here. One pound, eight ounces, which is exactly one and a half pounds, right? Lastly, let's weigh Matthew. How much do you think you weigh, Matthew? Oh, he says like 2,000 kilograms. Well... Not so sure. Let's adjust this back to zero. Now hop on the scales. Okay, looks like you're about five ounces, Matthew. I want you to do this at home too. Find things to weigh with the kitchen scales, okay? And weigh them in pounds and ounces. And another thing that you can do is find food items that say the weight of the food item on the label in pounds and ounces, okay? I have a few examples to show you. For example, here I have some tomato ketchup. And you read here at the bottom of the label, 14 ounces. I can also check that by weighing it right here. And it is more than that. As you can see, it is one pound and almost six ounces. But that is because the 14 ounces is for the tomato ketchup inside, not for the glass. The glass and the tomato ketchup together weigh more than 14 ounces. 
And here's another thing, some oregano. It says net weight 12 ounces. It also says the weight in grams. It is 340.2 grams. Okay. Now, if I weigh this here, it is not even 12 ounces. How's that? It's because I've used some of the oregano off of it. Okay. So this is not a full packaging anymore. All right, I hope you have fun with pounds and ounces. We're all done with this lesson.